Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be changing topics a little bit. We're gonna be talking about trailering, specifically how to launch and retrieve your boat effectively and safely. I'm gonna be showing you some of the techniques I use to uh, launch the boat solo without any help and how you can do it too. Stay tuned. Before heading out, make sure that your outriggers and antennas are all in the down position. In order to avoid delays at the ramp, make sure your batteries are turned on and your dock lights are attached properly. When backing down, try to position the trailer as close to the pier as possible as this will facilitate getting in and out of the boat comfortably. Although all trailers are different, usually you want to have that first roller underwater by two or three inches. Once the trailer is in position, make sure you apply the parking brake and you turn your wheel hard over in order to avoid the truck slipping back into the water. In this case, if uh, for any reason the truck was to slide back, it would uh, probably bump into the pier before going in the water. At this point, you want to carefully get on the trailer and release your winch strap and your safety chain. Now that the boat is free from the trailer, you can go ahead and back it off. And at this point, you could either tie it to the dock or move it to another location. In order to retrieve the boat, we're going to do everything pretty much in the opposite order, starting with backing the trailer and making sure that first roller is approximately two to three inches below the water line. Don't forget to keep the trailer close to the pier so you won't have a hard time getting in and out of the boat. In 
here's a good view of that front roller that you can see is going to be only two to three inches underwater. At this point, we're going to approach the trailer very slowly, as slow as possible, just keeping enough forward momentum to have control over the boat, trying to get that keel over that first roller. Once the boat is on that first roller, it should stay pretty straight. If you do not uh, hit it exactly up center, just back up a little bit, turn your wheel, straighten the boat out, and it'll fall into place eventually. Just uh, key is to be patient and not uh, bang up your boat in the process. Keep your engines running as you may need the little extra push to get it on the trailer with the winch. Once the boat is safely on the trailer, you can go ahead and bring down the outriggers and any VHF antennas or anything else that may get in the way when towing. Now you can go ahead and attach your clip and using the winch you could uh, winch the boat right onto the trailer. Uh, if you need to you can leave your engines in gear and this will help uh, get it on there a little more easily and then you can go ahead and attach your safety chain. If your winch is equipped with a low speed, this may be a good time to switch the handle over to low speed. Make sure you winch up the boat as far as possible in order to avoid any play. Before towing the boat out of the water, make sure the engines are turned off and are trimmed up completely. Finally, once the boat and trailer are safely out of the water, you may want to pull over and just do a quick inspection and make sure everything is perfect. Well guys, there you have it. I hope you found this information to be beneficial and I hope it makes your next trailering experience a good one. Uh, I also wanted to thank all of you that have subscribed to the channel. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I plan to bring you a lot more. So until next time, tight lines. This is Captain Orlando Meese with Nomad Fishing.